Howdy, my name's Luke Gorey. I'm sitting in Sweden now, and I just last week started working on a really cool Emacs hack called Climb. Climb is a slime interface to MacLim, or in MacLim parlance, it is a slime backend for MacLim. MacLim is an implementation of the Common Lisp user interface, no, Common Lisp interface manager, which is a really elaborate user interface toolkit for Common Lisp has a very detailed specification and a very long history going back to the Symbolic Lisp machines and even before that. And in this context, Climb is just a really modest attempt to pick a bit of low-hanging fruit that I noticed while I was looking around for a good way to do interactive diagrams. So the idea here is that a Lisp application will use standard Klim APIs to define visual representations of Lisp objects in the domain of the application and also to define a set of commands that a user can invoke interactively to manipulate those objects. What a climb will do then is take that Klim state and kind of tunnel it across a socket into Emacs via slime and present the visualizations as graphics in line in Emacs buffers, for example in the slime REPL, and allow the user to pick a command and pick the arguments to that command, for example by clicking on a relevant presentation on the screen, a visual representation of an object. I don't know how well it comes across just um, talking about that, so here, here's a demonstration. The most basic thing that you can do with Climb is to draw 2D shapes using the Klim Drawing APIs. The shapes get rendered into an infinitely large canvas and then automatically cropped to the region that was actually used, and then that gets rendered in Emacs, in line in a buffer, for example, the slime REPL. You can also use so-called presentations to associate Lisp objects with specific sets of the drawing operations. You're completely free to decide which objects in your application are going to be presented visually and which drawing operations are going to be used for rendering them. And Climb will just take whatever you decide and transport it over the socket into Emacs so that those objects get that representation on the screen in an Emacs buffer. So I would love to show you all kinds of other demos like invoking commands and clicking on the arguments to those commands as presentations and that kind of thing, but I just haven't had the chance to write that code yet. As I say, I only started working on this last week. It feels not more than maybe a third of the way done yet, I would say. And just as context, the entire implementation now for, for both the Lisp, uh, Lisp code and the Emacs Lisp code is only about 200 lines. So it's, as I say, it's a low-hanging fruit kind of a project. I just noticed some bits of uh, Lisp code and some bits of Emacs that, that should be talking to each other and weren't, and I'm just trying to connect them together. So the big things that need to be done now are accepting input, where Lisp can say, give me an object of this type, and Emacs has to supply it, and should be able to you know, click visually on an object um, to choose that. And also um, commands. On the, on the Lisp side, you have Klim APIs for defining a set of commands that should be interactively invocable, and we've got, be, we got to send those over to Emacs and have a way to invoke them. And uh, I'm sure there's like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of other stuff um, that should be done too that would probably be awesome, but what I would really like to do now is to just keep it really simple and try to get the code that I have cleaned up and, and finished and upstreamed into Slime and upstreamed into MacLim so that it would be something that just installs with QuickLisp so that uh, everybody everywhere would just have this as a baseline and then we could kind of uh, organically, incrementally add features and maybe turn it into something really super cool. You know, it's always a risk in a project like this in the early stages um, where yeah, if you don't get it over the line and shipped, it, it might die because this is something I'm hacking uh, on the side as a, as a means to another end. So if anyone wants to help, that would be awesome. Um, uh, find me on the Klim channel on Freenode IRC and uh, I would be more than, more than happy to uh, tell you how you can help with this or give it a try, kick the tires, um, whatever. And then finally, let me just say a few words of thanks. Uh, to the slime maintainers and the MacLim maintainers who've done an amazing job over a really long uh, period of time now. These projects are just in, in great shape. Uh, really a pleasure to build on. I've had a lot of help from Jack Daniel, the MacLim maintainer particularly, um, explaining the intricacies of the Klim specification and the MacLim implementation, so thank you very much. Uh, thanks Christoph Rhodes for doing slime uh, image support for, for his R backend way back when. I, I kind of stole the, the way that works for Climb. Uh, thank you very much to the ELS uh, organizers for setting up this cool conference and letting me do this lightning talk at very, very short notice. And uh, thank you for, for listening to my talk. I uh, hope, uh, hope that this will be something you can uh, use in your projects one day. We'll see. Let's uh, try to make it so. Bye-bye. Happy hacking.